Don't worry if it's not perfect. Eyeglasses can be tricky to draw sometimes. Step number six. This is pretty easy. Her eyebrows are just peeking up over her glasses. Draw part of one on the right side and then part of one on the left side. Then you can add some smile lines on both the right and the left side of her mouth. Step number seven. To start Ruth's collar, draw the neckline and a kind of center shape like this. Finish the collar on the right side with a kind of scalloped edge and a small shoulder line is needed after that. And then do the same on the left side, including the shoulder line. Also, adding a few little small circles around the edges will make it look a little more fancy. Okay, now this is a small touch, but two lines here will make that collar look like it has some more sections to it. Oh, and one more small touch I forgot about, round earrings at the bottom of her ears. And now it's fun to add her name in the background for those that are just learning more about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. To make sure the name is centered, I like to start in the middle with a block T to the right of the fold. Then a block letter H sits to the right. And most of a U should be showing above her head on the left side. and then a block letter to the left of that. Feel free, of course, to adjust these letters to fit your drawing. All right, this drawing is finally done, so it's time to trace everything with a black marker. It's always smart to work slowly when you're doing this step, especially for this portrait. There's a lot of small details in this drawing. And when you're done tracing, take a moment to erase any extra pencil lines that might still be showing it will really make your drawing look a lot cleaner. And now it's time to get out those crayons. I'm starting with a dark brown for her hair. That color works for her eyebrows too. And then comes her skin color. Any one of those peachy crayons will work just great. Make sure you fill in her neck too and press hard to get lots of good skin color. Then for Ruth's eyes, make the pupils black, the marker works great for that, and her eyes are a dark blue. Her eyeglass frames are black, and you can use the same color for her robe. That includes those little holes in her collar. Next, you can color her lips with one of your pink colors. And those small earrings on her ears could be any color you want. Next, for the black letters of her name, I'm going to go with the red. Press hard and color neatly so that her name really stands out. And lastly, the background color. A blue will make this a nice red, white, and blue drawing, which seems really fitting for a Supreme Court judge. And there you have it, a finished drawing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She had a very distinctive look with her trademark glasses, lacy collar, and pulled back hair, so a drawing of her wouldn't be complete without them. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this Ruth Bader Ginsburg video tutorial. You know, you can check out my website, Art Project for Kids, for more drawing tutorials like how to draw Amelia Earhart and how to draw Rosa Parks. I'll see you next time, and I hope you keep on drawing.